If you stare into the void for too long, the void will begin staring back. Welcome to the adventures of Martinius Last Name, where he has a powerful decision to make. We found and uncovered a portal, a gate, a hole, it was a flight of stairs really, to the Soul Ken, a land of ideal masters where souls are trapped for all eternity. Martinius, of course, 100 enchanting, knows a lot about that, did the Crest of the Azura, crafted the Black Star. He knows a lot about this. This is his wheelhouse. And he knows that such a thing is not to be undertaken lightly. Today, we decide, how do we enter the Soul Ken? Turned out yesterday, you know how uh, Serana was all like, oh, that looked like it hurt. Are you okay? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Turns out that that big deal about the Ideal Master stealing his soul, well, Martinez is so powerful, where the Ideal Master's quote-unquote stealing his soul is actually just kind of a tickle. <laughs> like, if we stood here for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, he would die for sure. Um, but the Ideal Master's mean nothing to Martinez, for he is a master in his own right of souls. So, after some good discussion in the comments yesterday, I have decided that what we will go for, and because of reasons I've just discussed, you made up your mind? we are going to ask Serana to soul trap us. Martinius knows soul trapping. He, it was, it's, he, he hit level 100, uh, enchanting, of course, not so long ago. He's considered a master amongst masters. He knows how this shit goes down. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. Now, becoming a vampire is a big thing to ask, and Martinez is just starting covering the mysteries of becoming a werewolf. We do need to do both so that we can create an adequate display in the gallery. Uh, but for now, werewolf, later, maybe vampire. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. I mean, you are... Thank you. Let's not waste any you more time then. You are literally soul I trapping him. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Okay. Uh, was that it? <laughs> well, uh, I suppose she is uh, maybe a bit more qualified than I gave her credit for. Thank you, Serana. Let's take a look then. Uh, we have uh, some sort of ability added on there, don't we? Partially soul trapped or slightly soul trapped. Some sort of soul trapping. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any negative. Why the fuck do we have the blessings of the hist? The hell? Um, yeah, I can't see anything that would maybe... It was called like weakened soul or something, right? Well, who knows? Maybe it only applies when we're in the soul can. I think she did say that. Come along, Serana. To the soul can. Oh my god. And here we are. The Soul Ken. It's a lot more pleasant than I remember. Uh, well, I guess that depends on your definition of pleasant. The giant uh, pseudo black hole looking thing up there is uh, kind of... Ugh, the smell here. I frankly thought it wouldn't smell like anything. Why is she so... I really hope to be right. But, looks like we'll have to deal with the smell of decomposed rubber and rotting flesh while we're here. I do not have a if choice. she really is here, I wonder how my mother managed to I do not have a choice but it. to entertain this mod. So, some people are like, please remove the mod. A lot of people are like, this is the greatest mod ever made. Please do not remove it. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I am on it. Uh, I don't have a choice here but to say... Actually... I don't yeah, I don't have do. a choice but to I go for it. I think you even like it. Because, frankly, I really don't smell anything like the Soul Cairn. For a walking corpse, you don't smell terrible. And for someone like you, you don't either. Though, honestly, I do smell a bit of body odor here and there. Maybe that's yours. If it doesn't smell like snowberry perfume, then it's not from me. Are you sure? Well... <laughs> I think we should just both admit that we do have horrible body odor at times. And at least mine smells like a regular human body odor. Good thing it doesn't smell like rotten flesh. But hey, we... We're being awfully carefree right now, aren't we? 
That's how human I mean, beings interact. For being stuck in a realm of oblivion without any guaranteed return. Oh well, at least either way, I'm glad to be here with you. Ah, uh, no, damn it. I'm starting to like you, okay? You're growing on me. And what I said is true. Oh, she's still Though talking. I definitely wouldn't want to end up here for eternity. We got a job to do. Thank you. Let's find my mother <laughs> and a way out of here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's how regular people talk. You're stinky. No, you're stinky. But you're stinkier. Oh, maybe we're both stinky. <laughs> so we're looking for these fucking things. Uh, soul husks. There's a lot we've got to do while we're in the soul can. Um, but specifically, we are looking for soul husks. Those we need for, well, something. I don't remember what very important. What do you think this will do to us if we jump in? Yeet. Nothing. How disappointing. Um, so we're going to kind of have a look around. Just kind of see what there is. We're not going to just beeline it to Valerica. There is a lot to do here. And I've heard rumors of uh, a legendary Dunma being trapped within the soul can. He suddenly disappeared during the invasion of Kavach. Ah, uh, his actual law. And now we're going to go and find him. For he never returned. Well, I suppose you probably wouldn't if you were... <laughs> if you were so trapped in a war. Right, let's go and have a look. And... Hello? And we do have to keep an eye out for... Those soul husks. There's quite a, quite a lot to kind of... Just do here. Just, just kind of hang around. Hello? All I said to Patema was I thought she looked a little portly in that gown. How was I supposed to know? Oh dear. Uh, someone's soul trapped by Potema. So the soul can for a little bit of uh a little bit of lore. I, I don't think it's actually considered a realm of oblivion. I think they might have done a fucky wucky with that voice line there. What a horrible place. Um it, it's kind of outside so generally all the realms of oblivion are associated with a particular Daedra, right? Um this one isn't associated with any particular Daedra at all. This is the realm of the ideal masters who are for lack of better word, the spooky skeletons uh, who are the source of all necromancy and, and you know, soul trapping and whatever else. Uh, hello? There's someone in here we've got to kill. I have no idea how to get to them, though. This is really a map marker. Abandoned Citadel. That's all there is to it. It's just a fucking wall. Huh. So there is a lot to do in the subtle can. Lots of kind of little things to collect. And uh, we can get some cool stuff from it, though. Trap soul. Oh. Does it allow you to trap grand souls or something like that from these? I don't remember how it works. We got a black soul gem and an empty grand soul gem. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, what do you do? This is one of the teleport points, right? Right, so you find those. That's what I was thinking of when I jumped in that thing earlier. You'll find random things. That allow you to teleport to other places in the soul can. Um, this one obviously allowed us to teleport up to here. Now these citadels will have Wraith Man and all sorts of weird things like that. Uh, words in stone, that's cool. Ancient knowledge. Gathering ancient knowledge from the soul can is like real, real high level, isn't it? I think even Hermaeus Mora would be interested in this shit. Well, I guess we'll <coughs> leap off. Sorry, it's very dusty in here. You'd assume that the soul can is a very dusty place. Wow. Okay. Let's just keep exploring for a little bit and uh, see what we find. Maybe we'll just aim for the kind of map markers. If there are any interesting NPCs along the way, have a chat with those guys. But for the most part, we'll just be, we'll be kind of hanging around for a bit, grabbing some soul husks and taking in the sights and sound and apparently smells of the soul can. At least I've got regular human body odor. God. Oh, hello. How dare they cast me from the battle spire? I will make them pay dearly. I mean, you won't. You've been soul trapped, madam. Whoa. Someone cast from the battle spire. That's another game we could potentially play on the channel. Battle spire has aged way worse than Redguard. Redguard has a pretty cohesive story. Um, battle spire is. I won't lie, a little bit old. That sky feels like I'm being watched. Can't stand it anymore. I want to look it up and make sure I haven't got that wrong. Because I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that the Soul Can is not considered a realm of oblivion. 
But uh, I, I mean, I suppose everything that isn't Tamriel is by extent a realm of oblivion. Tamriel, you know, like Mankar Camera said, is potentially a realm of oblivion. Ah, so these things are kind of like an embodiment of the ideal master. If you go near it, they'll start sapping your soul. As far as I recall, there is something we're supposed to do with them. Um, for the time being, I don't remember. So we're just going to rush in and steal their treasure. I think that's it's, it's like actually quite a lot of quests that take place in the soul can. Weird. Okay. There's another map marker here. Whatever the hell it is. Lightning rod discovered. Oh. Use lightning attractor. Play soul gem. What does that do for me? Oh. Just doing things for the fun of it. No idea of the consequences, and I'm sure it can't end badly. Wrathman. Uh, this is my complaint, okay, about the Elder Scrolls. They call the Dwemer gauntlets, the tools of Kaganet, Wraith Guard, which doesn't make any sense because a wraith is a fucking ghost, right? And it doesn't protect you from ghosts. It protects you Are from you the right? fury of... Let me know if you need anything. You know, the, the, the heart of Kagranak, which is the a big rock that was pulled out of a god, apparently. Uh, so it should be called Wrathguard. And then that guy, who's quite literally a fucking ghost in a skeleton, is called Wrathman. Which I guess could make sense, you know, in the sense that you're feeling his wrath for, I don't know, fucking around with his lightning rod? You there, step away from my rod. And he's very angry about it. Like, that makes sense to be called Wrathman. But he is also a ghost and a skeleton, which would also make more sense in being called Wraithman. Look, I'm very annoyed either way. It doesn't make any fucking sense regardless. Well, there's nothing the other way. Just a couple of soul husks, which again is kind of why we are here. One of the things that we do need to collect. We'll just kind of stick to clearing out all the map markers then, I guess. Don't, don't go off the... Uh, you know, the, the the beaten path too much here. But these things are pretty fucking great. We're not we don't need them for alchemy, I need to point that. It is quite literally part of a quest in the Soul Can to like collect twenty soul husks. It's a little bit weird, but that's just what we gotta do. So this is where we okay, so this is the quote unquote abandoned citadel, right? Okay, so we're kinda of back on back on track if you can call it that. Um excuse me, sir. Gonna have a look at this fortress then. And and you do have to do a lot of backtracking in Soul Can. I mean it's not massive, is it? Uh you'd have to do a lot of backtracking, come to these places after you've uh, kind of cleared them once before. That type of thing. Sorana sneezes. It's probably her body no order again. Ah, right, okay, so look, they've got some like weird puzzles as well. So iron arrow and uh or iron bones marrows there, or whatever way around you want to say it. Uh, so look, we've got to shoot them into the dirty hole for reasons I don't quite understand. Maybe the, uh, ideal masters can shoot their little bony fingers up through there. Oh, look, there we are. Jub's Opus, page eight. Remember, in the end, 76 cliff racers were slaughtered. I was knee deep in their corpse and my body on the verge of collapse, but I had survived. I smiled to the heavens and all went black. Wow. Saint Job, the Saint Job, one of the uh, one of one of the Dwemer. Oh, sorry, one of the new Dunmer Pantheon saints. So after the events of Morrowind, with Dagoth Ur and Almalexia killing Sothasil, uh, the Nereverine killing Almalexia and Vivek disappearing, they uh, the, the temple reformed into the new temple and they basically said, yeah, maybe the Almsivi weren't gods, but instead they were. Anticipations. Uh, they, they were they were basically remade into saints, for lack of a better word. Um, but each one was associated with a particular Daedra. So I think Vivek was the anticipation of Azura. Um, so the Sil was the anticipation of Mafala. I might have got that backwards. And then Almalexia, the other one. Anyway, they all represented Daedra, but then they went back to worshiping the Daedra, and they named all of the the other guys saints. Stay away from the crystals. Or you may find yourself becoming one of us. Stay away from the crystals, sure. And what was I talking about? Right, okay. And then uh, they were all made saints, but Job, the guy that you're on the boat with at the start of Morrowind, also becomes a saint because to redeem himself for his crimes, he wipes out. 
He wipes out all of the cliff racers in Morrowind. Every single one of the fuckers. And if you watch the Morrowind playthrough, you'll know why that's significant. Because those things Stay close to me. We'll take them on together. were a massive pain in the ass. Like, those things were so fucking annoying. So for one guy to basically single-handedly wipe out the entire... I mean, we wiped out a fucking lot when we were in the Nereverin. Basically wiping out all of them is a hell of an impressive feat. There's got to be a better way to get down from there. Oh, we're teleporting back up, you motherfucker. Landed in the... I keep forgetting we've got no fall damage because of the uh, the perk that we've got. Hey, there's another page of St. Job's Magnum Opus. So we'd have to find all of those. Um, I mean, hey, we need it for the... Can I take this fucking coin first? Wait, what the hell? We need it for the gallery, uh, for a start. <laughs> What's he swinging at? Oh, he's going after that soul. I guess that's like a, a person. That's all they've been reduced to. Sorry, it's very loud in here, and I don't know why. You hear like our footstep sound. And then we've got like these bloody souls which are incredibly loud. Oh, Jesus. Hello. That's hilarious. I genuinely turned it down by like 10%, and I think it's still just as loud. Maybe it's just these weird sound effects. Totem of the Ideal Masters. Oh, does this let you worship the Ideal Masters? You have my back. And weird. You know, like um, with the religion mod that we've got, we're currently worshipping Hermaeus Mora. Oh, man, I wonder if you can go full on Ideal Masters worship for like Conjuration or whatever. I don't know how it works. I've got you in my stuff. Maybe we can't do anything with it quite yet. Maybe that's, maybe that's something for later. What are you shooting at? Ah, bony man. It's a shame you can't have jump attacks. That would be that'd be so good. Done and done. Wow. Alright then. So how much have we Oh! Serana's regard for you is increased. Serana can give you gifts. Right, I think somebody somebody mentioned that. That at any point after a certain time, Serana can turn you into a vampire. Um I was a little concerned that, that you know, option that we got on the stairs to come into the Soul Ken was the last chance we'd have to become a vampire. And if that was the case, we'd have had to have done it there you and then. Help me find my Arvac. Arvac. To be in a place like this. Oh my god, it's Arvac. Who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Okay, how can I help him? Arvac? Arvac? Where are you? Arvac, please come back. So this guy come and his back. horse both got soul trapped. No way, soul trap a horse? Not really worth much, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just immediately settles down. Find Arvac's skull in Soul Ken. Who are you? That's the last time I argue with the Dromora. They've all got like non-typical voices. You know the old one we met earlier? He sounded like just a regular dude, and that Nord guy doesn't have the generic kind of that's the last time I argue with a Dramora kind of idiocy overacted voice. Is this a crystal building? Seem oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, oh, you're dead. I mean, they literally are. Yeah, that's not actually incorrect. Um, there was a way we could jump up, right? Yeah, here we go. The armor increased to 74. Oh, is this not? Oh, no, this is one of them. This is just a light bulb. I thought it might be a way to get us on top of the building. God, Serana's struggling in here. She's using ice magic That's against... That's enough out of you. ...against skeletons. She's talking to me again. Serana's struggling in here. That's enough out of you. Well, I mean, you, you are, though. You are using icy magic on a bony man. You need a big old hammer. Bony men hate big hammers. What have you got? Come at me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ideal Master's Arena. Good people of the Imperial I'm not City. To be with. Welcome to the arena. <laughs> wow. So I know what we have to do. I don't remember what you, you do do something with the crystals, but I don't remember what. Right now we're just gonna avoid having them eat our souls. Ah! Another page of St. Job's Magnum Opus. Some crap. I'd really like that, but apparently can't grab it. I feel like it's some sort of just trap for greedy, greedy boys. Okay, yep. Yeah. They've quite literally sucked the soul out of our arm. Can I have that back? I do kind of... Oh. I need that. It's on my axe arm, you shit. 
Well, never mind. Moving on. Let's go and have a look then. So we've got... So okay, so there's something through there. So basically, the Soul Cairns divided into two halves. We've got this half, which is the slightly more pleasant half. Uh, then you go through the Soul's Gate, which is the slightly less pleasant half. I mean, neither are particularly pleasant, if you can't tell. Oh. Hello there. St. Job's Magnum Opus, page one. Very nice. Uncreasing stamina potion. What did that say? Unceasing. It says uncreasing the opposite of uh, increasing. Must stay away from the keepers. Must stay away from the keepers. The keepers? What the hell's even a keeper, I wonder? Well, can we equip our axe again? Are we, is our arm okay? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's go through the soul's gate and see what there is. Been a fucking raven, isn't it? Here we are. Ah, uh, it's... Well, even more frightening than the last area we were in. Hello. You're a nice guy. I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I'd argue this place is pretty fucking... Oh, I'll back. Every step I take. Ah, come here. Have we got to follow him? Is that how it works? I don't remember. We've got to... We've, there is something we do with him, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, you see, it just disappeared. We've got to find his skull. Merchant's cart discovered. Male Breton. Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. You call me fat, sir. More than Stroud. What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. They like witches. Necromancers work in, in covens. How in the was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? I mean, given that you are Soul Trap, quite literally, yes. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. That doesn't make any sense. They Soul Trapped I his fucking one of the cart? traders in High Rock, you know. Thrana's board. People would track me down <laughs> just to see what I had for sale. All right, got anything left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. Uh, souls? I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. I'm pretty sure you don't uh, need you know, soul husks for this guy, but I might be misremembering. Things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Hmm. All right. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Maybe it is well, this guy then. Used to gather before all of this nonsense happened to me. Sure. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal if you have the husks. Oh, okay. So twenty-five husks, and he'll give us a thing. Oh, sure. Keep pestering me then. By all. Means. We can pick the thing. Oh, t page ten of Jobs Opus. So we can just tell him to give us a thing, and he'll give us the thing. We could take some. Soul can infused heavy armor. That could be quite potent. Can I shoot that with a magic rather than having to keep switching over to a fucking... Oh. Oh, that actually does work. Well, that saves us a lot of pissing around, doesn't it? Crackle. <laughs> what an anemic spell. Oh, what is that? Bloodsbane. What the hell is even this? A Daedric sword that absorbs much bloodshed and anguish. Drains the wielder's health continuously and absorbs enemy health on hit. Now that looks like a one-handed sword to me, even though it's got a, quite a long handle. But we'll... I mean, if it's two-handed, that sounds fucking cool. Oh, it's one-handed. Oh, that's cool, though. Drains our health. But if we've got a high enough health regen, we're basically fueling it with our own soul. I think that's absolutely what's going on right now. Oh, that could be such a cool weapon. I like that idea. All right. We won't worry about it for the time being. Um, let's summon our chest. Bear in mind, we have the ability to move while we summon the chest now. Very powerful. There we go. Uh, let's throw some of this shit in there, and then we'll get back to work. Cool. Why is our armor plates unequipped? Oh, we've left like a load of defense just like on the floor. Unbelievable. Let's get all this shit sorted away then. Uh, we don't need the arrows, I guess, so we'll chuck that in there too. There we go. Have we got anything else of particularly heavy weight? Cast iron pot. You just bring that into the fucking soul can, you weird man. 
Well, there we are. Flagon. Don't think that's really necessary here. It's not like we're going to find a fucking tavern, is it? Two soul gems. Very nice. That was quite a nice little inconsequential treasure to pick up, eh? Another reason that we need to look basically all around the soul can is for the, uh... Well, it's for the gallery itself. You never know what mighty treasures you could find. What's this? Oh, this one is a teleporter. Whoa. All right, here we are. This gives us like a like a bird's eye view, I guess. Imagine on console, this looks like shit. And here you can see some poorly rendered long distance textures. Oh, wow, you shouldn't have, Todd. Right. Oh, there's a treasure there. I see. No, it doesn't work. All right, fair enough. Let's try that again. Maybe, maybe the ones that don't work are intended as drop points for people who don't have, you know, like we've got like the heavy armor perk. So does that mean I have to collect like 125 soul husks to be able to get the full set? Maybe it's just something generic. You know, like ebony armor or something like that. Hopefully. Stuff that would be cool to have, but we don't necessarily have to get with him via soul husks. If so... If if they are kind of cool shit though, we could we could grow them ourselves, couldn't we? In uh, three sixty, we could grow them ourselves in the greenhouse at the Dragonborn Gallery. So might give that a go. Let's go have a look around then. Wow, is that him? Is that implied to be like his? Look, look, just look through your things. I mean, what the fuck is he gonna do? I, I mean, we're being very honourable right now, but we could just take his things. I mean, he's not gonna stop us. He's a fucking ghost. We'll just soul trap him again. What if you start soul trapping people from the soul can? I assume it just kind of transfers ownership, you know, for lack of a better word. Grabbing our husks along the way. Abandoned tower. Oh. Well, it's, I mean, it's literally not. There's a guy at the top. We know there is. Also, I mean, how can you judge anywhere in this place being any more or less abandoned than fucking anywhere else? By what metric is this more abandoned than, I don't know, any of the other fucking buildings we've seen? What are we getting here, then? Ah, you big puck. Uh, I have no idea how to get into this one. I remember this one. So, so there are three, well, technically four, I guess, boss fights that happen across Soul Ken. I believe the abandoned towers are where three of them take place. There's three abandoned towers in it. Don't remember the full details, though. Let's grab some more solely husks. I can just see the legacy of the Dragon Ball making it like a bunch of unique items for the, for the soul husk man. And then you're having to collect that many or grow that many or whatever. God damn. This place also feels bigger than I remember. I've got all the achievements in, uh, you know, the Skyrim Legendary Edition or whatever. So I've, I've done, well, everything there is to do. Obviously, Soul Ken's a pretty big one. God, there's a lot of these ideal master stones, aren't there, on this part? Well, I think those are the ideal masters, for lack of... Like a, like a manifestation or representation. I'll have to look it up. Actually, they are... Uh, they are the remnants of uh, Vivek, chapter 36, from where he was voyaging throughout the many realms using his Kaim Godhead tower powers. <laughs> oh, good God. Hello. Oh, this is one of the keepers as far as I recall. Yeah, right. Okay, so we've accidentally stumbled into one of the aforementioned boss fights. Fighting a guy in full dragon bone gear with an axe. Fucking hell, man. Probably not. Probably when we are weaker in the soul can. So this guy is still going to take a little bit to... Nice, got him. You can loot his gear. That's a oh no, there we are. I was gonna say I was pretty sure you can loot something from them, even though it's not a huge amount. Yeah, so those guys are the keepers. They're the big enforcers of the soul can. Nobody ever gets in. Nobody ever gets out. Style, you know. Right, soul husks. Yes, here we go. Oh, I know a guy who loves these things. Just munches down on them. Strange mushroom funguses that grow in the soul can. I bet they would taste incredible. Wow. What the hell is that? Oh, it's our blood. <laughs> Martinez isn't used to seeing his own blood. It shakes him. He only sees other people's blood. Zap. 
So it turns... Oh, I get it. Right. It's kind of similar to Manny Marco's... Uh, the altar of the uh, worm. You know, where you put up in, in Oblivion, where you put a soul gem into the altar. And it gets transformed over. Are they single use then? Maybe they just recharge over like 24 hours or something. Because that would be kind of a useful reason to come back to the soul can. Honestly, don't remember because I always, in this game, unlike Oblivion and by Stamp Morrowind, where they were kind of extremely rare. In this game, Black Soul Gems just fucking all over the place. But to be fair, it also kind of makes sense because Necromancy is illegal in Cyrodiil. This ain't Cyrodiil, Chief. Right. What else am I looking for? You got any more of them tasty, tasty soul husks? Oh, there's a well over there. Let's go jump in it. I love that they've got this gate up. <laughs> ah, they've got a gate up between here and that. It's like the most functionally fucking useless thing possible. Brilliant. Well, let's give it a little, little crackle. Crackle. All right, we're good. What the fuck is even the point of that? I don't understand. Why the hell am I using destruction? We got a massive... Fucking battle axe. That's me using a lightning cloud against a guy who doesn't have a nervous system. Ah, my soul. Daedra hearts. We are going to have to start stockpiling Daedra hearts soon, don't forget. Used in, well, Daedra karma crafting, obviously. But that, I think, is the next logical tier up for us. Because we're getting to the kind of smithing level where we're almost ready to craft Daedra stuff. We don't have any ebony or anything. We can start taking some stuff apart. And ebony isn't enough of an upgrade, I would say, to waste ebony ore on an upgrade from Nordic. Where the hell will this one take us? Uh, oh, just up to up to here, right. Oh, wait. Hang on, we haven't been up here. We were down there. Wait, were we? Oh, no. We sure as hell haven't been up here. Hello. Mist man. Oh, no. You did pretty good out there. Nice don't patronize me, Serana. Hello? She brought that man back to life. That's very illegal in the soul cam. The Ransom of Zarek. A bunch of crap. Ice storms. A knife that we can't pick up. Oh, a couple of soul husks. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, somebody was cooking dinner. Ah, oh, very nice. Some spooky kind of undead zen garden there, for lack of a better word. Okay, let's go and get stuck on the side of this rock. But like I said, for the time being, we'll just focus on uh, uncovering all the map markers, making sure we've seen all the things of interest. Then it, then when we've done that, all the collectathons, because honestly, it's a little weak. A lot of the things to do in the Soul Ken are collectathons. Find Arbright Skull, collect 25 husks, find all 15 pages of St. Job's Magnum Opus and all that crap. It's like, okay, fine. Shrine of the Bone Men. I don't think I want to touch oh, it. It's on. Oh, it's so stinky. Done and done. It, it just means that when I have to do all that backtracking to find oh. everything, it'll make our life so much easier. I don't know why Serana's life drain is working oh. on skeletons from hell. You know, you just seen the one place where they... I guess life and soul is a different concept. It doesn't really make sense that you can suck the life out of a skeleton. Because you're draining its magical... Magical I'm not essence. To be trifled with. See, now that doesn't make sense, uh, Serana, because that's, that's an idiom, isn't it? Trifling with someone. That doesn't make sense. You have trifles. You have, you have trifles in the Outer Scrolls world. Right, what have we got then? Conjure Bone Man. Hell yeah. You fucking know it. You can do that anyway. Just look it in the mirror. Large sack. Yeah, speak of the fucking devil. Right, where are we going then? There's one over here. Another ulcer to the Ideal Master. Another one of those big, big gem boys. Ideal Master's Palaza. They've got their own Palaza? Wow, you guys can make a real Taurus killing out of this. You have my back, and I'll That's really cringy, thank you. Uh, you know, maybe like literally. Taurism for the Soul Ken. Just partially Soul Trap yourself. They'll take half the cost. And all they have to do is kind of just let people have a wander around in here. That's enough out of you. That, that's a that's a good business proposition right there. Void salt, soul gems. Just checking for these Eldritch pages, basically. We found a lot of them. We need to get all those uh, hoff down in a second and see if it's more a 
You know, we might be able to get to 100 favor if we do that. Holy shit, hang on. 94.6%. Can we read the other one? There's two pages here, but I think we've read them both. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Okay. I know it says we've already read them, but they're marked as kind of fresh pages. 97.1. This one we've apparently already read. Okay, fair enough. 99.6. Oh, you fucker. Uh, and then we pray. Then we pray. Oh. I've heard stories about the soul so far it's well, I can feel the Emmaus Mora tentacles of knowledge filling my mind and hopefully nowhere else. Wow. What does Devotee of Hermaeus Mora give us then? Uh, Devotee of Hermaeus Mora gives us omniscience. Pray to permanently raise the skill of your choice by one level cost five favor. Holy shit. So he's willing to give us his knowledge now because we have pleased him enough. Wow, that's quite powerful. I say we save it for something like, for example, smithing. Uh, or perhaps something like um, alchemy. Things that are a real pain in the ass to craft because you need to get a shitload of ingredients. But things that are still going to be valuable to us. Damn, Akaviri Shaman. How could I know it would trap my soul? Akaviri Shaman. Oh, shit. So there was a time on Cyrodiil, the Akaveri Potentate, uh, where... Did you know I visited elsewhere once? <laughs> what a strange and wondrous place. Have you heard of the High Elves? Uh, so there was the Akaveri Potentate, which was um, the ruler of the... Well, the, the Akaveri ruled over... Oh, they were... Ah, oh, right, okay, there we are. They ruled over Tamriel. And I suppose... Uh, and that was like thousands and thousands of years ago. So I... Oh, they ruled over Cyrodiil, I should say. Um, that's cool. So it's kind of implying that she's been here for like a real fucking long time, eh? Just hanging around this place. Jesus, we've only been doing it for half an hour and I'm already thoroughly sick of the fucking thing. I don't know if Bethesda made all that lore up about the Akaveri Potentate and stuff kind of after the fact. Because it doesn't really make much sense. Because the Akaveri people are genuinely just like bethesda's version of japanese people hence the katanas and the very obvious kind of samurai looking kabuto samurai armor uh and the temple you know the architecture especially that type of stuff um i feel master's mausoleum again i would argue all of this is pretty much a fucking mausoleum but the akaviri people were used as Kind of basically foot soldiers. And now Akaviri, Akaviri is just a continent. So you can refer to anybody from that as Akaviri. Um, but the Akaviri refer to a specific people, right? Um, and the Akaviri were kind of like a tiny group of people that weren't even, you know, like that much of a big deal. So the actual rulers were Sayesi, which were these weird kind of like snake boys. Um, and ladies, of course. But they were just these kind of weird snake people. Uh, kind of almost kind of vampiric snake people, I guess, for like a better word from Akavir, who ruled over them, but I don't know why they didn't decide to call the continent Sayesi if they were the ones in control rather than Akaviri. That's a bit weird, you know? That'd be like here in the UK deciding to call the whole fucking country, you know, Wales. <laughs> Close quarters it is then. You know, I do mighty like the sound of Wales? Why don't we call the whole country Wales? You know, that's a good idea. I'm not sure if the Scots have been more or less pissed off at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's just a very bizarre thing. I don't know why they did that. Somebody knows. Let me know. Don't. I'll probably just look it up. Wow. So we've explored actually like almost all of the Sulkin here. I'm specifically avoiding that building. So that's where I was trying to obviously tell us to go. Um, we've explored more or less all of the Soul Cairn at this point. Now, there are a lot of pages of Jobs Magnum Opus. I don't remember how many pages, but there's quite a lot. Um, we have currently found, like, one of them. Well, we haven't found one of them, but we found, like, what, ten pages? Eight pages? One, two, three, four, five. Five pages. Five of the, I think, twelve pages. So, um, 
as I said, there's going to be a lot of backtracking. So I want to cover it all in this episode. Then I can always do the boring backtracking, get the soul husks or whatever. Um, kind of after the fact, in between episodes. Another lightning rod. Oh, I suppose these are quick travel points so that if you come back to the soul can, you can teleport back quickly, get your black soul gems, and get out. Ah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's kind of a, a nice bit of convenience. And who doesn't love a bit of convenience when you are in... The soul can. Am I all right? I just got oh, hit in the face dead. with a fucking giant rod. And I wasn't even at the altar of the bone men this time. Serana, you fucking fool. Are you all right? No, oh, I'm good. There's all his teeth are on the floor. I mean, actually, we were literally fine. Which is almost a bit more insulting that she asked. Are you all right? She says to a guy wearing the amulet of kings. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Soul husks. Did any of those for a fucking while? What the hell's going on here? Some sort of well, you asked for it. jizzy ceremony. Well, that's done and done. Probably Hopefully the bone men again. I'm starting to get a bit tired. You're starting to get a bit tired. The keeper's forest tower. I can see why you call you it that. Right? Let me know if you need anything. There's at least one or two trees here. I get, I get it. Oh, there he is. Great block. Great block. Not so great block. Still actually pretty acceptable. Bonk. How did I look? Did I take these enemies down in style? Like a true femme fatale? I hate that you said all of those words. Again, that's an idiom. And even worse, it's a French idiom. Which must mean, canonically, France... Uh, exists in the Elder Scrolls world. Just when you thought the Soul can could get no worse, you find out that actually there could be France. <laughs> it is a real place and not just a bedtime story they tell we English boys to frighten them. How do we get into the... Is that it? Is that all it took? We just had to... This was the Diddle Tower. I'm not, I'm not like completely... There were, there were the guys doing the lightning bolts here? Oh shit, that's all we had to do is kill the keeper and they all disappear. Well, you're welcome, I guess. There's no, like, treasure or anything here? What the fuck? That's it. I thought there would be a way to teleport to the top or something. But to be fair, it also does look like, um... Kind of looks like it's very ethereal up there. So maybe maybe it's kind of intentional you can't get up there, eh? Oh, here we go. Shrine of the Wrathmen. We can now conjure Wrathmen as well if we want to. Oh, it's on. I mean... You'd argue all of them are wrath men, you know, because they're all pretty fucking angry at us. Hostile. I'm not someone to be trifled with. So it doesn't make Look sense that. Sky. What kind of place is this? Uh a cool one actually. Oh Jesus! It's like looking at the sun for too long. Your vision blurs. Hello. That sky. It feels like I'm being watched. Uh huh. Can't stand it anymore. Big old black hole sun. Won't you come and wash away Serana, please, for the love of God, get rid of her. <laughs> okay, what do we do with this place then? Is there a way in? Uh oh. It's a Rathman. Hey, let's show these adversaries that we're more than just pretty You know for oh, a fact with that soul line. With a soul line with that uh with that voice line? They're like, oh, well, we need a nondescript Good night. word for an enemy. No, from the soul can. They want me not to go through that portal. What do I have to, have to be scared of? I've been venturing for years, and I've seen nothing I couldn't wallop. With this place, ain't nothing living here, just dead. Well, great sort of rage. How ironic. What the fuck do we do with this? Oh, entrance around the front. I got it. Enter. Oh! It's an inside area. Dragon's Lair. What the fuck is this? I don't remember this. Oh, is this modded content? Reaper Shard Receptacle. Reaper Gem Fragment Removed. What the fuck? What the hell is this place? Whoa. Okay. So we need to find Reaper Gems. And that will do something for us? Okay, so we got to put more in there. 
I don't remember this at all. Wow, okay. Uh, I guess we'll, um, guess we'll keep an eye out for Reaper gems as well. Oh, another thing to collect. You shouldn't have, Todd. It's very visually impressive. This place is very visually stunning, and it's only a side area of a much larger quest. Um, you know, they did pack a lot of content into this DLC. I think it's a very good DLC. Um, and this area was... I just fucking moved. What the fuck is going on there? Oh, God. I thought I was losing my mind, but the textures do shift. Just on this for some reason, though. What the fuck? Oh, that's vomit inducing. Holy shit. God, that made my head hurt. <laughs> Use lightning attractor. It's the only attractor around here. You cheesy piece of shit, Serana. You've made a mistake trying to see Hello there, Martin is stinky. I'm Serana. I'm also stinky sometimes. <laughs> Jesus. I want your bone meal. I keep picking up like their shit. Good block. Where I want their fucking bone meal, you know? And it's very annoying to pick up like a this random crappy sword. Ah, now we're over and coming again. Exactly my point. <gasps> Good hit. Just power attack forward. There was a video that went up on YouTube. I, I I didn't watch it, but I saw it kept popping up in my fucking recommendations. Where someone played the whole of Skyrim with like forward power attacks or some shit. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> It's always kind of like the Mr. B style of if you do something absurd, people will watch it just because it's context. Is absurd. So Mr. B's like first thing that really pushed him up to fame. Was he like counted? Was it like counted to a million on a live stream or whatever for like 36 hours or something insane like that? And that was the thing that kind of because it's such a ridiculous thing to do. Even though it was 36 hours. Oh my God, we've got so many soul husks. He just did it. And it fucking worked. And credit to him but the only problem with that is you set a really dangerous precedent don't you you know it's like oh shit what am i gonna do to top this oh i wanted to read those it just occurred to me that you can't read them as you put them in a chest don't mind we'll put those away because we think we've read all of those jobs opus okay so we sell i just shame we haven't got more of that yet well we're gonna run this episode for as long as it takes to this is in your day uh martinius did I accidentally store his axe? Nope. Uh, we're going to run this episode for as long as it takes to get all of the map markers in Solken. Because that way, if people want to skip it, they can. And that way, we can uh, keep all the story element in the next episode. That way, you can avoid all of the kind of quote-unquote grinding aspects of Solken. The collections and the finding the shit. Um, and instead, you can... Uh... Ah, it's Job. We'll save him for next time as well. For sure. We won't speak to him quite yet. The Well of well, Souls. Jobs Opus, page five. There we go. Magic potions. And some, take that skull with me. That's a skull from the soul, Ken. That's going to be worth a fortune. Are you kidding me? I'm not someone to be trifled with. I'm not someone to be trifled with. You should really work on your combat dialogue because that's a bit pathetic. Does teleport somewhere, do you think? Or is this just like a... Nope. It's just a big beam of light. Right, over to the next one, then. No way, the same Job get his own map marker. Oh, he does. Hello, Job. We're not going to speak to you today. Was it between the forces of good and Just because if people want to skip over it, like I said, then they can, uh, they can do that. Oh, Ideal Master Citadel. I look like it said Sit Space Adele. Like they... Done it a bit. It's like soul trap mooses, buffaloes, cows, something. Some sort of nondescript four legged creature. How do we get in? Hey! Signpost to entrance is better. Fucking hell. I feel sorry for any Amazon drivers after coming to this fucking place. Good God. Could not find address. Good damn right. That's the one time I'll let him off. A lot of the time, Amazon say, can't find your address. Uh, granted, we do have a kind of difficult address to get to. But fucking holy shit, this place is a nightmare. 
That's the one time I believe them when they say can't find a dress. 76 heavy armor. We've really done a good job of, you know, Martinez's midlife crisis of turning him from, you know, kind of beta spellcaster. Ooh, restoration magic. Yeah. All the way through to, you know, yeah, basically Chad Supreme. Well, <laughs> as he's like completely out of breath after climbing a flight of stairs. <gasps> Sir? Cease and desist. Have you got any soul husks? I Are suppose you all I'll. Right? Oh, there we Let go. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, yes. I need a back rub. Oh, I shouldn't suggest that. She'd probably be, like, well up for it. A uh, back rub, eh? I love back rubs. Do you love back rubs? I think we could both do it with a back rub. Ha, ha, ha. Turn around and she's just, like, completely naked. And then your only response is, ha, ha, ha. In brackets, sarcasm. In brackets, flirting. In brackets, sarcasm. Oh, nice one, Serrani. You really messed that one up. <laughs> Again, okay. I'm being very cruel to this mod. It's not a mod I'd ever download. Let me make that very abundantly clear. However, for the people who always wanted to romance Serrana, they've done a very, very good job. There's another Reaper Gem fragment there. They've done a very, very good job. Given that, A, they didn't have the original voice set. To B, they're obviously not Bethesda's writing team. Uh, C... It's, it's not, you know, I like to, I, I am mocking it quite heavily here. Oh, God, there's moving text again. Fucking hell. Because it's not for me. But I imagine for the people who would enjoy something like that, probably would enjoy this quite a fair amount. Soul Husk Farm. Well, let's just grab these. Oh, that's fucking convenient. I mean, look, we don't need this many because the guy's only got a set amount of stock. But... We can take them back and do some alchemy with them. They're a new alchemy ingredient, which means, you know, pre-XP, eh? God, the sock clan's bigger than I remember. Hello. Let's do this. But, again, I mean, for, for what is essentially a minor area in a fairly big DLC, they put a lot more effort than was necessary into this, eh? You could have just found Valerica in a tower, you know, behind some traps or whatever. But the fact they made the fucking soul can is kind of cool. I feel like Skyrim is where the game started to lose itself a little bit. Uh, not, not the game. I meant like the Elder Scrolls as a concept. Beware the dragon Dunavir, destroyer of souls and harbinger of the fallen. Wow, you're in luck, my friend. You couldn't have asked for someone more appropriate to, uh, to turn up. What I was about to say was, um... The problem with it is, is they constantly up the ante. They've got kind of power creep, for lack of a better word, in the Elder Scrolls games. Like, you know, Arena, Daggerfall. Daggerfall especially, you're just a dude kind of doing stuff um, to help people out as things kind of unfold. You're not like this character, this great character of prophecy or anything like that. That's kind of why I liked Oblivion too. Uh, especially Oblivion, actually, because you weren't the main character. Martin Septim was the main character. You were just kind of his, well, his aid, for lack of a better word. You know, you were the guy that did the muscle. He did the thinking and the big sacrifice and the dragon's blood. And, you know, it was all his plan. You just went along with it. Which was kind of refreshing. It was kind of nice. Um, but Morrowind, even though you were the the champion of destiny, you know, you were the Nerevarine, it felt way more believable. In Skyrim, power is kind of behooved on you for power's sake. I don't want to say, you know, as a gimmick to sell the game. It fucking worked, though. Obviously, Skyrim was the game that pushed the Elder Scrolls into... I mean, Oblivion was uh, by no means small. But Skyrim, for sure, was rocketed to success amongst, like, real mainstream gamers. As evidenced by the fact that it's been re-released uh, about roughly 47,000 times at this stage. Um, now available on... Let's see how you well, like you can't this. even make that joke, can you? Because... I was going to say now available like a Neo Geo, but you know for a fucking fact someone's already done that. Not like actually ported it, but maybe ported a version of it. Like the joke was good until Bethesda got in on it. Then it was ruined. You know when they did that April Fool... Was it an April Fool's Day joke? Not, it was like two years ago. Was it Terry Crews, I want to say, in on it? Uh, well, they did the Alexa Skyrim, which is actually playable, by the way. Oh, I'd say playable in the loosest sense. 
kind of a choose your own adventure style thing. Go left, go right, that type of thing. Um, but you, it is actually something you can download and do shit with. What was that noise? You hear that? Let's go up here. Hello. Anybody home? Oh, this is another keeper tower. I have a feeling this is another keeper tower. Whoa, look at how high up we are. You can see my house from here. Oh, yeah, here we are. Ah, you big fucking... I can't Stay block this. We'll take them on together. I've got an idea. <laughs> I've got a horrible idea. Uh, Sir? Oh, Serana. Get him. Oh, I pushed him out of bounds. Shit. I think I killed him, though. Bollocks. I blasted him out of bounds. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. I think he's dead either way. That's so good. Well, no, he's dead because the souls up here will have disappeared. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, that's fine. Shouted off of the highest tower in the soul can by an angry old man. That is fucking phenomenal. Let's take us back down, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's the keepers. Uh, more or less wiped out very unceremoniously. What do we want to go to now? Should we head over to this one? We, you know what? We're actually almost done. I think we've got like three more map markers. Oh, Jesus. You know, we'll find him in a second. It's all right. What's this one? Shrine of the Mist Men. There you go. So we can now summon Mist Men, well, Wraith Men, bone, bone Lords. Black Soul Gems. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, Black Soul Gems are so easy to pick up. That's anyway, the point that I was making you. was Skyrim really did up the ante over and over and over again, didn't it? Like, okay, you are the Dragonborn now. Like, these semi-mythical legendary figures. Which up till this point was basically exclusively emperors uh, and their spawn. What the fuck is that? What's another bow and arrow? Go on, Chris, to 77. Ah, oh, we'll take that. It's a fairly valuable book. Hello. Well, you asked for it. Salt pile. <laughs> Finally. Finally, I've been added to the Elder Scrolls. Right. All right, then. Uh, I guess we'll head. It's the only place left to go. Is this strange tower here. What is this one? Arv oh, Arvac Shrine. Oh, the souls just got zapped into skeletons. Retrieve Arvac's skull. And there it is. So you know what? Just for a lot of people who might want to skip over this or maybe don't want to watch the full thing. Uh, we'll, we'll leave our skull as the thing to pick up at the start of tomorrow then. So we missed a lot of pages of St. Job's Magnum Opus apparently. So I'll have to look at where they are. They are kind of tricky to find. We do need a copy of it of course for our own gallery. What the hell happened there? What the fuck was that about? 72 handed though. We've got like 70, 76 heavy Not armor. Very We're a very good job of uh, building up our skill set. So, for the time being, let's leave it there. And then tomorrow we'll come back with some lovely adventures in the Soul Can. Pick up Arbrecht's skull. Good. Now that we've, uh, I think we've picked, we, I think we've done everything now, haven't we? Yeah, look at that. Might be a little bit in the middle that we missed because we kind of went around the outside. But there might be something there. Of course, we've got to find the actual main structure there too. That's pretty much everything. Oh. I think Serana picked it up. Find my mother and get out of here. What the fuck? Uh This better not. What I didn't I didn't pick that up. Genuinely. I guess we looked at it for so long it just picked Yeah, I guess it just picked it up. That's a shame. Alright, well I'll talk Almost about that at the start of tomorrow's episode real, then. You know? See you all. Tomorrow.